Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate you spending a portion of your beautiful, happy Sunday with me. Sunday is the best day of the week and I do appreciate you spending some of it with me. Today I have a short video. I won't take much of your time. I have two plant spotlights that I want to share with you today. And the first one is my burrow's tail. This is the burrow's tail that I have been growing for one year and two months. And I'm really, really happy about her. When I got her, she was um, shorter in her pot. She was still full, but she was shorter in her pot. But now she is long trailing and living a happy life in a south facing window. She's a very easy care plant. You definitely can't touch her too much because she will start to snap and just drop leaves or she'll like um, snap a branch. And so you can't do too much touching of her. She is sadly one of the plants that I have that ended up in my greenhouse and getting cooked a little bit, but she did recover nicely. She was really bald on the top. So what I did was I purchased another Burrow's, plant, Burrow's tail plant and I put the pieces on top of this one so that it can grow in and just cover up this bare spaces on the top. I do have some cedar in the top of this plant because that keeps the gnats and the gnats and the bugs away. And so I have that on top there. I do have a video coming up showing you exactly how I treat my plants with a bubble bath and how I top dress them to keep the gnats away. We do have um, the occasional fungus gnat in my home, but literally when we see fungus gnats, I wait to see where they land and I follow them and I take care of it right away. And I will say that I'm very happy with the way that things have happened and that I don't have to um, deal with fungus gnats all day long. It's more of an occasion than it is just a regular for us in our home. And with all the plants that I have, yeah, that would be really hard if we were still dealing with that. So back to my spotlight, one of my spotlight plants, my burrow's tail, I love her. She sits in the south facing window, like right on the window. She seems to love it. I didn't even realize how quickly she was growing because she I can't touch her very often. And so I don't move her a lot. But then when I would turn her, so just to be sure that all sides of her were getting enough light, she I saw that she was really, really long over here. But from where I was standing, I could actually only see it down to here. And then to my surprise, she had all of this. I am really looking forward to seeing her um, develop flowers. From what I know, and I've seen in pictures, they will develop flowers, pink flowers at the ends of the, of the runs. And I really look forward to that. I am so excited about springtime coming. I was speaking in the comments with one of you talking about just, we're just waiting for springtime, better plants in the stores and just being able to enjoy our plants a little bit differently. I think it's a lot easier to take care of my plants in the summertime because you can repot them without worrying. You can do all kinds of things and you just do it outside so you don't have to worry about messes. <laughs> so again, this plant is my burrow's tail and she's an easy care plant. She lives in a south facing window. I water her maybe once a month because when I let her get completely dry in the soil, but I still don't water her when she's completely dry, I wait until she starts to feel just a little bit soft. I don't wait until she wrinkles, but just when she gets a little bit soft, that is when I just completely drench her in water. But outside of that, I do not water her at all. I may go through and just mist her with my solution that has a little bit of neem oil in it. And again, that's just a protective measure so that she doesn't end up with bugs because this plant to treat it with bugs would be really, I would really lose a lot of the plant. And so I'm really, I'm really particular about this plant as far as having to treat her for something that's like in between each little nook and cranny. So there she is, my burrow's tail. <laughs> <laughs> Next, my final spotlight plant is my string of turtles. This is my Peperomia something. <laughs> I'll put it on the screen. But this is my string of turtles. I have had her for a year and four months, and I love this plant. We have been through so much together because she was one of the casualties that really had a hard time in my greenhouse, user error. <laughs> and she lost a lot of her leaves up top and 
I was able to catch her in time. I put her in the north side of my yard and she was just able to develop all of her foliage on top once again. And I'm really happy about her. Prior to that, she was sitting in my south facing window and she was sitting on a pebble tray. When she was sitting on that pebble tray, the leaves got extremely thick. They were not thin. Now they are thin. She doesn't sit on a pebble tray, but they were so thick and she was getting a little bit too much sun. And so she didn't have her beautiful turtle color. Like now you can look at it and you can see that she has that turtle shell appearance. But when she was sitting in the window downstairs, she's still sitting in the south facing window, but there is a tree that's giving her a little tiny bit of shade that makes a big difference. So she was blonde looking like this. You see how those turtles right there don't have that beautiful tortoise shell kind of appearance? That's how the entire plant was. There was almost no variegation on it. But then this right here, these are even still really, really thick. They're not thin like the others. They are very plump and juicy, whereas these are more flat. So I think the exchange I do really like. I like the exchange that I went for. She is extremely long and she's very healthy. And I noticed while I was just talking to you about her that she has some flowers on her. Here are her, here are her blooms. Look at that. So beautiful. I love this. And I know that the blooms take up a lot of their energy, but I just, I really, really, I just love to see this so much. This is just absolutely beautiful. She's so, I, I think the other thing I love about this plant is the fact that she is not fragile. I can like handle her. I can just look at her, play with her a little bit. And sometimes you'll get some leaves that fall off, but it's nothing major. She has so many leaves. You don't really miss if she drops a couple of leaves. And usually if they drop, it's simply because it was just time for them to be shed. Whereas with the burrow's tail, they will just like start rolling all over the ground, <laughs> almost like confetti. So I really love this plant. And I have lots of propagations of her because every once in a while, especially when she was on the pebble tray, I would just see that a section of it just came off and I would just put it into a little tray with some soil in a little container and I just propagated them. So I did do a trade for someone who was looking for one, a string of hearts um, cutting and I just had the small plant and so I traded with her for that and a couple of other things and it works out well. Oh, she's so pretty. Look, some of her leaves are still really big like they were before. You see these back here? This is how the entire plant was. Some of them were even bigger than this. But see how these are so big, so juicy. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. I love this plant. I purchased this plant for $12.99, no, not $12.99, $16.99 in the Big Y supermarket near me. And then my Burroughs Tail, I purchased that from Home Depot for $12.99. And I think they were both fabulous deals. And I love both of the plants so much. Look at this. I feel as if I am a pearl salesperson. I'm selling pearls. And just that quickly, I'm all done. Thank you so much for sharing your Sunday with me. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you stopping by. If you subscribe to my channel, Thank you. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate you. And if you just stopped by to see what was going on, I appreciate you as well. I hope you have a fabulous Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and I will talk to you in another video very soon. Bye guys.